Okay, welcome back to Sales Academy, and let's talk about the numbers game formula here when the decision maker comes out. We're looking at this, you know, so I want to be able to make sure that you track several things, especially for your sales career or for your business, right? So the first thing is the number of times the decision maker comes out to see you. I've talked about that statistically around 30%, right? Out of 10 cold walk-ins, typically you see at least three decision makers come out. As long as you're asking the right thing. I'm here to see Tom. Will you let him know I'm here? As long as you're doing that, three out of 10 times, they're going to come out. Now, the second thing is I really recommend that you start tracking the number of appointments that you set if the decision maker comes out. This is obviously a key thing. The decision maker comes out there's an opportunity of one and one you want to make sure that you're converting that into an appointment, into a next step for you, for your business, for your services, right? That's what prospecting is for. What I see here is that there is a 50-50 ratio. So let's say, for example, you have two decision makers that comes out. You should be able to set up one next step or one appointment, whether it's an instant appointment or the following week, right? That's about a 50% ratio is what you should get. You can get that number higher. You can get it even better than 50%. Still, that is a great number for you to start on because people one-on-one, -on -one, it's a lot harder to reject somebody face-to-face -face than over the phone. So if, uh, if you are getting 50% of the time getting those appointments, that's a great thing. The next thing is you need to be able to start tracking what objections that you're getting when you're delivering your, your presentation, your talk track, because your talk track, your scripts, there's no perfect script out there, right? And there's not really any perfect way on doing prospecting, but if you're doing what you're doing consistently, you're gonna be able to get results. You need to be able to make sure that when you're looking at, when you're getting objections, the possibility of you getting the same objections, it's because what you are actually saying and delivering to them. So you need to find out what's causing these objections. You need to track that. The next thing is, what references do you have, you know, did you use for them? Did that hurt your script? You know, are you using the right product and presentation materials, right? So you need to track that. Number of times a decision maker comes out, number of appointments that you set, the objections that you're getting from these decision makers, those are the things that you want to be able to make sure that you actually track. When all that's done, it's all about starting a relationship because even if you are unable to set up an appointment. You need to make sure that you're collecting information because that information that you get from the gatekeeper, from the customer will be critical in setting up an appointment. I went on a cold walk-in with a rep of mine a few weeks back. The rep walked in, the customer said, are we just signing up with another, that we just signed up with another vendor, right? And so, but we're gonna be up with our lease for another 30 months or we're gonna be up with our contract for another 30 months. Now, that kind of sucks, right? But here's the thing, contact them in 30 months because the lease is going to be up. The contract's going to be up. But that information right there is, is putting character on you, building relationship, and making sure that you're setting up in the future, right? So what is that for you? Are you ready for that? Are you prepared when the decision maker comes up for those key metrics, those key items, Number, you know, the number of times that they come out? the number of times that you appointments you set up, the, uh, the objections that you're getting from them, those three things you should be making notes. And write it down after the visit. Don't wait till the end of the day, right? Because you might forget. The next thing is we're going to talk about the process and how you handle the decision maker when they come out. So that's what we're going to do in the next video after this. But those are things. If you have all that information down, if you're taking track, whether you got the appointment or not, right? You are seriously taking advantage of it. Knowledge is power. The more knowledge you have, the more you're going to win. Now they also say knowledge is power, but if you get the wrong knowledge, then it's worthless. So when I'm going in there, when I, when I actually get that face to face with them, you know, truthfully, here's my thing. My main goal is to see if I can take a few minutes of their time to actually do the value proposition to do a elevator pitch to then go get an instant meeting. That is my ideal process is to be able to get in, 
pass the gatekeeper, have a quick meeting, and then create a time to be able to have an appointment. But my most ideal thing is get the appointment this very same day and have an instant meeting. Those are the main five things that you want to be able to have, especially when we're doing cold walk-ins. All right, so that's what we want to do, and I hope that you guys paid attention to this. And like I said, if you are still unclear and you're not getting certain things, it's perfectly fine to rewatch the video or start from the beginning. But the, the thing that you guys need to do is you need to be consistent in your prospecting, and your cold walk-ins. Just as this video series, there are people that probably watch this series and already quit after the third video. There's people that's going to watch this series and skip some videos that they think that they're already good at. There's going to be some people that watches the whole series, knows that it's valuable, but don't actually carry it out in the field. The real purpose of this whole video series is to actually have this continuously and watch this series at least once every two, three weeks to just really spark the juices to remind you, are you missing certain steps? Especially when you start going out there and doing your sales and your and marketing out there and doing your cold walk-ins and you're starting seeing a lot of objections, then maybe that you're missing a few steps and you should re-watch the video series. Like we make it a thing in our sales team. Like we have our training. Like this this video you're watching is part of our sales training for a lot of the salespeople that work for me and a lot of people that we can a lot of companies we consult for. For the main purpose of that, we want them to always be educating themselves. Remember, you know how I told you to talk about mindset in a previous video? Well, these videos are an option for you to be watching between travel time from going from one, you know, potential walk-in to a second one and keep on going. So that's the main purpose here is you need to always train your mind and get yourself ready. Stop, get off the phone and stop playing Candy Crush. Stop playing Mario Kart. Stop playing Pokemon Go, you know, in between things that you're doing. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the next video. Hey everyone, we want to be able to invite you to our 10xpatientreferrals.com where we have our online home health marketing academy that's going to be able to help either a home health, home care, or hospice agency increase referrals increase their senses, and create a profitable company. Now, at this very moment, you're going to have access to these information through these training, marketing to physicians, how to get to hospitals, how to be able to get into nursing homes, and much, much more at a month-to-month -month basis with no contracts needed. It's just month-to-month. -month. Now, guess what? We are offering you guys for a limited time 50% off any one of our plans. Just choose which one is going to be able to work better for you. So just stop by the 10xpatientreferrals.com at any given moment. So these are the plans that are available, whether it's the gold, the silver, or the platinum plan. Most people go for the gold plan, but it's up to you what's going to work for you. We definitely want to be able to have you in. come in and work with us. So here's two choices. Go to 10xpatientreferrals.com or click the link down below. Take advantage of this right now at this very moment and sign up with us. We would like to thank our sponsors of this video and over here at 10xpatientreferrals.com, our goal is to provide you guys amazing information on every single one of our videos. So medicationreminderprogram.com provides daily medication reminders for your patients. They call your patients twice a day to remind them to take their medications. What happens is a top reason of hospitalization for senior citizens is not taking their medications. So this program allows you to be able to keep your patients and not lose any revenue, but at the very same time, it allows you to stand out when you are marketing to other referral sources because you're providing more services, more programs than the competition around you guys. The next thing we want to be able to share with you guys is they have three different packages available for you at this very moment. Choose which one works for you. If you're an agency that's just starting up and you have less than 10 patients, you can go with a silver plan. Or if you have 50 patients, you can go with a gold plan. Or if you have up to 100 patients, it is only the choice to use the platinum plan. But guess what? It's up to you which one works for you guys. For a cost of as a little as 33 cents per patient a day, it is worth everything for you guys. The next thing is homecareansweringservice.com. It's an answering services for your agency. So if you want to be able to have us handle all the calls for you in the weekends 
or the off hours when your business office is closed, we can definitely do that. Or we can even answer your calls for you during the day as well. Allows you to be able to do everything for your company. So HomeCareAnsweringService.com is your solution for answering your calls on a timely matter. Now, before we continue on to the video, just need to be able to take a few seconds of your time. And so we want to be able to ask you a question. Are you looking to gain more referrals for your agency, your home health, your home care, your hospice agency? We want you to be able to join us at our online marketing boot camp that has over seven and a half hours of training. When you actually watch our boot camp and join our online marketing boot camp training, so sign up for a limited time at 10xpatientreferrals.com 